Captain. We have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ayr. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. before... Wait, I've just picked up multiple Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position. But he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stukov. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, damn it. That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. If these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Durand! Captain, your position... 
position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Your forces are under attack.